Hey guys, this is Primeval. Welcome to part 8 of my playthrough of DoD Challenge 12. Um, so here, uh, Spain is complaining about uh, how unhappy my citizens are, which is fair. They are fairly unhappy. If I could do something about that, I would. Uh, Warsaw is now allies with Persia. Uh, Warsaw has declared war on me. Zurich has declared war on me. Where is Zurich? Is that like somewhere way over here? Uh, Zurich's back there and Laventa is way up there. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, the Greeks uh, got a bunch of new city-state allies. Ragusa is also uncomfortable with that camp, uh, so I will be very happy to clear that. Uh, we do need to go and take care of Warsaw. So we'll need a little more gold for upgrades here. Uh, we have excess furs, but that's all incoming uh, from city-states, so we can't trade that away. Uh, let's see, our military might is decent. Harold is the strongest. We'll be able to sell some of those luxury goods uh, soon. Okay. Uh, we finished machinery, that's good. We should probably head up towards education, uh, since we will need that to push our way up towards chemistry, fertilizer, artillery, and flight. I don't think we can rampage the entire continent on crossbows alone. Um, maybe it is possible, but I would like to get education online. It'll also let us upgrade our Pictish warriors to pikemen, which will uh, augment their strength while still preserving their uh, unique abilities and improvements. Okay. Uh, Tyr wants that camp cleared and wants spices. Ragusu, uh, Ragusa also wants spices. The only person who has spices, I believe, is Korea. And they don't have excess, so they're not going to want to trade. Um, next turn. Okay, so this turn we should be able to complete... Um, uh, a bunch of repairs on various luxury improvements and that should mean we can go and sell stuff and um, we can definitely sell some truffles and then afford a few more upgrades. Uh, so I think Caesar already has our truffles uh, but he'd be happy to buy some horses from us. 
I think Harold also already has our truffles. I guess that leaves Korea. Sure, let's go with this then. Okay, so that puts us out of range. We want to make sure no one else steals that camp from us. Bowman. Alright, so we're going to take Warsaw. That should be pretty easy. It looks like they don't have very many units, and we have Crossbowmen. Uh, that does mean we'll need a Pictish Warrior in the area. We can send one from Cardiff, or we can go and purchase one. We could also purchase a crossbow, but let's go and purchase a Pictish Warrior. And I guess we may as well purchase another one. Military-wise, we're still in fifth place, despite upgrading quite a few of our crossbows, um, or our composites to crossbows. We can also see... Uh, oh, we can steal a tech. Alright, so we can steal iron working, which is probably the most expensive tech amongst our options. So there's iron working. Persia is no longer an ally of Warsaw, but uh, we'll take this excuse uh, to go and capture Warsaw for ourselves. Um, I guess this crossman is danger of being killed here. We'll have to take the instant heal then. We have another assault online, uh, but it's keeping us happy, so I think uh, we won't be in a rush to trade that away. Jatoa is happy that we are protecting them. There's a barbarian encampment down there. We've discovered iron working, but no iron. Uh, okay, so there's iron not in our territory, but will soon be in our territory. Uh, we finished that granary. Let's get to work on a coliseum. So here can pillage that. We don't have enough money for an upgrade, so we'll just send them in as is.
17 strength, uh, 3 crossbows, and a couple composites should be enough. And uh, 4 po turns to a trading post. Uh, you would actually be better served uh, improving those horses, or repairing them anyways. Let's also get to work on our road network here. Uh, so, I think we should be able to... Hmm, I guess there is the danger of... Uh, this scout capturing that uh, from us. So we won't uh, deal any more damage to the uh, brute just yet. This Pictish warrior can join uh, the army that's going north. And here... We're going to want to go and uh, improve those forces so we can sell them, as well as build ourselves a circus. A missionary is going to cost us 200. Um, we might want to grab one of those, or maybe an Inquisitor to get rid of Zoros Traineeism. And getting rid of Zoros Traineeism will help us spread our religion, uh, so I accept that. Okay, so we're losing grasp on Ragusa, and uh, we'll, we should get that influence back once we destroy this camp. Here we gain some more experience, but we are in danger of uh, being killed. So let's go and uh, retreat here. go and upgrade our most veteran composite bow and let's run you over to these horses Okay, so we finished a Colosseum. Um, up next, we could do with a water mill or an amphitheater. Even a shrine wouldn't be bad. Uh, since we do have holy warriors, let's go and grab ourselves a shrine here. Next turn. So Darius is now af offering 47 gold. Um, let's see if he'll offer gold per turn as well. Nope. Um, so we will get a warmonger penalty for eliminating Persia, but it's one less thing we need to worry about if we go and take them out. Although this city is pretty bad. It's all tundra. Um, hmm. well, let's go and uh, gain some experience on our units first. Uh, we just met Zanzibar. Let's go and pledge to protect them. And over here, we wanted to 
repair that horse tile. So we cleared a camp and that got us a bunch of influence uh, with our city-states. Uh, so we're now allies with Tyr and with... Um, and we uh, maintained our alliance with Ragusa. Uh, we'll get this guy home for some upgrades. Uh, scout archers are always useful. And this Pictish warrior will probably want to go over towards Warsaw. And now let's see 49 gold. Hmm. I would um, escape the penal diplomatic penalty I get for totally eliminating a sieve. And that city is not very good. As well, it's already following my religion. Let's see. So if I captured that city, I would probably raise it. Uh, but this way, I have another city pushing out uh, Ten Grism uh, for me. Okay, choose production in Cardiff. I think we're going to want a granary. Although, without any granary resources, I think uh, a water mill will actually be better for us here. Okay, so we didn't need to eliminate Persia, but they are fairly crippled. Um, all this tundra here, uh, they have almost no food, and um, it's just uh, one city. So I don't need to eliminate Persia. We got their capital, and that's what matters. Uh, so uh, we can make friends with Rome, uh, since we are getting some nice gold off of them here. Uh, Rome wants us to give them, or Alexander wants us to give them a city, and we're certainly not going to be doing that. Uh, we never did capture back all of uh, the workers that Persia stole from us. Uh, however, we can steal another tech here. So civil service uh, is worth the most, um, although Let's have a look at this. We are currently researching. Hmm. Well, first, Persia has denounced us. Cardiff has grown. That looks fine. Toro has grown. That looks fine as well. We've discovered horseback riding, so we can grab Solar Service. Uh, right now and then work our way towards education in Seoul uh, they're building the Alhambra and we can steal another tech in four turns uh, and we might be able to steal education since that should line up perfectly uh, with the next tech we can steal and they do have universities uh, so that will work out really nicely 
Now we just finished a shrine. Let's go and grab ourselves a quick granary. Since we do have uh, the wheat uh, down there. Okay, so we're done with Persia. While we're down here, we may as well have a look around. Okay, spare resources. Uh, we have double porcelain, which is kind of silly. Um, and I think we're also importing horses. We could sell our truffles here. Perhaps we should. Uh, that will let us upgrade some more units. Although no one can give us the full amount. Two oh eight. to the next turn. Nebuchadnezzar. Okay, so I really am hoping we'll be able to steal education off of the Koreans. Uh, so Warsaw looks like it's down just to that composite bow. Well, actually they've got more units than that. We have more horses online that we can go and sell now. Okay. Harold stopped offering us full price but uh, Rome is still flush. Let's go and sell for 180. Two horses for 90. Okay, so Caesar is less happy with us here as well. So that's alarming. Uh, we really do want a good source of gold, and uh, Caesar was going to be that. 
we even made a declaration of friendship, so maybe he's just uh, got enough horses. So yeah, we've made a declaration of friendship, and they have an embassy in our capital. Can't get much better than that. Dublin has grown. Alright, that looks fine. Let's go and purchase a crossbowman here. Okay, so Augustus is still uh, good friends with us, still offering to pay us the full amount. Uh, they just had enough horses. So that's good to know. Uh, we lost a Pictish warrior uh, over by Warsaw. few of our deals just ended. Uh, we can go and sell the wine. And perhaps you'd like a horse? Uh, no. Okay, so Harold has also had his fill of horses. Perhaps Nebby could use some horses since uh, he is at war. Great. So we finished a circus. Uh, let's go and build ourselves a Colosseum. And here we will go and retreat until we have backup. There's our scout crossbowman. Okay. Harold is plotting against us, except So, if I can somehow convince Babylon to 
declare war on uh, Harold. That will buy me some more time. Or alternatively, I could make peace with Alex for what hopefully will be a lot of gold, and then uh, attack Harold. So looking at global politics, Harold has denounced Persia, but is not at war with anyone. Go and trade. Uh, declare war on Korea. They have a peace treaty. What do you want for that? 175 gold. Um, I accept. That will spare me a war with you for a few turns. Um, so we finished that granary. We are going to want some more crossbowmen. Um, and unfortunately we were unable to steal education. Um, so we'll have to go and research that ourselves. Saving seven turns of research would have been amazing. Uh, and here we can go and upgrade this Pictish warrior to a pikeman. I also guess it's time to advance on the Greek city here. Next turn. Um, hmm. We will want to spy on Korea later, and we already have pretty poor relations, so I'm fine telling them to go screw off. Alright, it's time to go and move on Warsaw here. Ah, I see that uh, trireme uh, was blocking our zone of control. Alright, so I think we'll play one more turn and then uh, that's where we'll stop uh, the video and you'll have to wait for the next video to see how everything turns out. We do have three city-state allies including two uh, mercantile allies. Unfortunately they're both uh, giving us porcelain. Uh, so since Warsaw declared war on us, we won't get the warmonger status for taking them over, I don't think. Um, here, let's go and pillage that. Looks like we will need to take the instant heal.
and let's go in anticip in an in anticipation of getting a uh, university. Uh, let's go and put some jungles into some trading posts into the jungles. Uh, and here let's see what we've got. Uh, looks like our scout archer could die here. Okay, next turn. I do want to see what happens with Warsaw, so you'll get another turn out of this video. Ah, our Pictish warrior, come on. Um, okay, so we'll have to go and purchase. Uh, and it's really too bad. Uh, we should have upgraded to him to a pikeman while we were waiting around for our units to heal up. Uh, let's go and buy a horseman here. Okay, so that's our scout archer. I would like some experience here, so let's go barrage and see if we can run away. Okay, so trade route done. Let's finish that farm. We have more horses we can sell. So uh, there isn't much of a market for our horses at the moment. Uh, let's build ourselves another horse then. And this is where we'll leave the video. I'll see you guys in part 9.